Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Wolfwinger, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to a brand new and hopefully awesome-tacular episode of LEGO Minifigures Blind Bag Opening right here on the Blitzwinger channel. I think this is our fourth opening for series number 17. Thank you so very much for the support of the last episode. It is creeping up to about, I think, 1100 likes at the last time that I checked. So not quite at 1500 likes as we had hoped for, but still awesome so that is absolutely spectacular once again if you guys enjoyed today's episode click the like button let's try to hit 1000 likes and hopefully we can reach that goal so with that in mind let's take a look at how many bags we have for today we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have a total of 10 bags to open up here for today and hopefully we will avoid getting too many repeats. Of course, some of our kind of must-have characters will include, you know what, let me just open up one of the bags here just so that we could have a pretty good idea of what is actually possible. But some of the characters that I really, really want, of course, this guy right here, the corn guy, it'd be really awesome to get him, this fellow over here. Uh, other than that, the other characters, we've already gotten all of them. So I think for me personally, it would be the corn guy, maybe even a repeat or a duplicate of him would be great. Then uh, I wouldn't mind getting some more duplicates of the Rocket Warrior, uh, the Rocket Kid, the Highwayman. Any, if I could get three more of this guy, I wouldn't even mind it. So with that in mind, let's take a look at what we are going to get here for today. So our first blind bag will be the Elf Queen. I uh, just decided to kind of vary things up here as far as what we might get, what we might not get with... Uh, future characters. Usually, of course, I would close my eyes and then try to guess the actual figurine as we poured it out and we tried to figure out what exactly is the character that we have at hand. So we're going to begin that with the next bag. But here we have the Elf Queen, who is a spectacularly well done uh, minifigure. Really, really well done, top to bottom. Really think they did a good job with this one. I love this piece right here. That's probably my favorite little piece of detail on the figurine itself, just because it shows really nice attention to uh, small little details so very cool to see that for sure and i think this is the third one of her that i have so not too bad pretty happy with that all right so let's move right along to the next bag and let's find out what is within the next bag so i'll remove the checklist and now upon at this moment upon at this moment that made sense close my eyes and see what we have shall we all right Ooh. oh oh <gasps> Oh, please tell me this is the corn guy. Please tell me this is the corn guy. Three, two, one, bada beam, bada boom. That's what I'm talking about, finally. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I was picking up these 10 bags at the store, I did feel some of the bags I was like, cause usually I'll just pick up like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and let's say eight, nine, ten. So that would be it. But this time I was like, I really, really want the corn guy. So I made sure that at least we had him in here. Now I wasn't too, too certain cause it is a little bit more challenging to tell of course when the bags are closed because as you're feeling for the minifigure, you're like, I maybe that's not the corn guy. Maybe that's the rocket guy because the shape of course of their costume is somewhat similar. They both kind of aim angle upwards like that. So uh, I was a little concerned that maybe I did not pick the right one because in the past that has happened plenty of times where I would like feel the bag and be like, okay, yeah, for sure. This is this character. And then as I get home, I open it and it's like completely not the character that I thought. So sometimes I get them very, very wrong. Luckily this time we did not. All right. So very, very good start already Two awesome. Very, very, very cool figurines. And of course you guys know what this means. That means that I am going to do my uh, kind of top character layout. So I will rank them from 1 to 16 or from 16 to 1 as to who is my favorite or least favorite of the entire bunch. So here we go, guys, with blind bag number two. Are you kidding me right now? Is this another corn guy? Three, two, one. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> you know what? If we win, we win big. So that is awesome. Very cool to get yet another corn guy back to back as well. Like, even if I did think that maybe there are two in here, which again, I was hoping that there would be at least one. Luckily, there are two. It's kind of crazy that we managed to pull them back to back out of all 10 bags. So here we go with blind bag number four. Uh oh. I just caught something. Please tell me that was no capes. Okay, no capes. No capes were harmed in the making of this video. All right, so let's see what we have here. Shall we, guys? 
And our fourth blind bag. That's dangerous. I probably should move those scissors. Um, okay, so I think this might be the workout lady just based on that. Yeah, I think this is the workout lady because I think this is like her little drink thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then that's the hair piece. But the hair piece is really the one thing that's giving it away. So I'm going to guess that this is the workout lady. Three, two, one. Boom. That's right. All right. Very cool. Because I think for her, I'm pretty sure we only got, I think we got this figurine. Well, actually, maybe once. I'm not sure. Maybe it was just once. Either way, I don't mind getting a duplicate. Usually, I strive to get at least one or two of each in the set just so that I could use them for customs and such because I mean like look if I wanted to make a carrot top custom that is a perfect hair piece right there for that task at hand and of course there's some H2O while she's doing her little aerobics exercises. All right, so let's move right along to the midway point. This is the fifth and middle bag out of the 10 that we will be opening. So let's get rid of the checklist, of course. And here we go, closing my eyes. Let's see what we have here for our, I gotta move those scissors uh, for a fifth bag. Uh, okay, that's right away. This is a giveaway, no matter what else is in there. This is the hammer that belongs to the troll warrior. So let's see, or to the, I don't remember what the, Ah, somebody told me that the actual name of him, and I forgot again. I, I'm just going to keep calling him Troll War Warrior. But nevertheless, let's take a look. Yep, got it. This, again, is, as I mentioned before, this is one of the few figures in this wave that I don't mind getting, let's say, four or five of, just because he has so many different parts that I could see myself using for many, many, many different customs that I do not mind getting some duplicates uh, as far as this character is concerned. So... I am very, very happy to have him here in the team. I was going to say, oh, it's pretty cool that we didn't get any duplicates yet. But technically, of course, well, not technically, literally, we have gotten a duplicate. And that was the corn guy. But here's the troll warrior. Really great printing, really great weapons. And of course, really cool hairpiece and beard accessories included. So there you go. If you want to build a Seamus custom, you basically are 99% of the way there. Now, with that in mind, let's move. Ooh, this one feels like a big fig. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. I'm not kidding, guys, but this might be another corn guy. Just because this in the corner here, here feels like a really similar pattern to that. So let me just, I'm not even going to close my eyes. Let me see. And yes, it is. Boom. <laughs> I love how we went from, oh, we don't have any of the corn guy to, we've got an army of corn guys ready to take over the world now. They are ready to take over the world. These guys are going to go plants versus zombies, uh, cosplaying. So there we are. Yet another one of those fellas. Not going to take a closer look at him since we already know what he looks like. But here we go with the next bag. This one actually feels a lot smaller than the previous ones. And I think I'm feeling like a little water bottle again down here. So I'm not too certain what this one... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. This is going to be the uh, workout guy. This guy right here. You see him with his big mustache? The Circus Strongman, I think, is his actual name. Uh-oh. What did I cut? Uh, a little bit of the booklet. And let's see if it's the Circus Strongman. Yes, it is. It is the Circus Strongman. Boom. Awesome, awesome. Now, let's place him there. Oh, whoops. Forgot your epic mustache. How could I? How dare I? There we are. Now, you are ready to rock and you are ready to roll, sir. Well, actually, not quite. There we go. There, there. Hold on to your... There we go. To the weight. You got to be showing off that you're just dumbbelling 100 pounds. I assume that's pounds. Maybe it's kilograms. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Circus Strongman looking super duper plain. That, <laughs> that's what I would describe it as. He's probably the most plain minifigure of the bunch. Him and the Frenchman, but the Frenchman at least comes with a bulldog as well. So that's kind of cool. So in that regard, I like that one quite a bit. I guess I'm starting to give a little bit away as far as like what my favorite figures are from this set. So I'm going to stop now because I'll give away all of them by mistake. All right. So let's see what we have. I'm going to close my eyes now. And ooh. Ooh, what's that? What What is that? Huh. Well, that feels really strange. I'm actually not sure as to what that is. This is really throwing me off because this feels like... Is there a head in the... Oh, okay. Yeah, there is. Oh, okay. So this is a hair piece. What is this? Hmm. 
I need more help. I need more help. Nope, that's not what I need. That's a torso. Those are legs. There's something underneath my hand here. Oh, this is the baker. Three, two, one. Yes. All right, as soon as I felt the pie accessory, I forgot the hair piece had like the hat and the hair attached. That's why like, I could feel the hat and it's for some reason started making me think of um, the uh, highwayman. And I was like, that might be the highwayman. But then this part of it, like when I felt this, I was like, that's, that does not, that shouldn't be there. So I was a little confused as to what exactly the actual figure was, but now luckily we managed to pull and guess correctly. And this is a really, really great minifigure. Just really well done. Again, another one of those that, yes, she's somewhat plain, but I actually think it was very well executed as far as the accessories go, the print work on the face go, and of course that really cool chef's jacket that she has, which actually has kind of like a little bit of the paint uh, falling through into the pants area as well. So very cool attention to detail there as well. All right. So we're doing really well as far as avoiding duplicates, except for the corn guys, but I don't mind that because honestly that that just looks awesome with the three of them just representing like that that looks epic all right so let's see what we have okay well i just kind of spoiled it that always happens with that cape every time i pull on the checklist we end up getting the cape out of there as well all right so let's put together our highway man who is the mystery figure for this particular set and this is an an absolutely awesome and fantastically well done figurine it is um well, I guess this will be somewhat of a giveaway, but it is my favorite figure in this set. I just think it is so well done, well accessorized, just top to bottom, well executed, uh, more so than any of the other figures. To me, like if every figure in a minifigure wave could be this good as far as like attention to detail, accessories, and almost like sometimes, you know, like you'll get something like this. There's really not that much personality in this type of character. It's kind of a very generic strong man whereas a character like this you could kind of like you know start coming up with a little personality or a little bit of character for this guy so i love when that kind of thing is able to translate into the finished product so it's very very difficult to do i'm sure of that but i think they absolutely nailed it with this highway man figure plus i love this cape the way that it kind of has like the extra draping uh elements to go to the front that looks cool too all right so we have one final bag to open and i think um actually hmm i am not sure what i oh actually this is the chef because there's the hat again like watch i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna move it i'm gonna make sure that i pull the exact accessory right there watch this is gonna be her hat Guaranteed. Boom. Told ya. I told ya. I told ya. I told ya. All right. So let's go on ahead and pour out all the other bits and pieces for our final figurine. So it looks like we only got one uh, duplicate that we didn't necessarily want. You know, the chef, it's nice to have two of her, but three, I'm probably gonna have to trade this uh, away or uh, I'm not sure what I maybe just put her in like a some sort of a display or something, you know, as a background character. Uh, but Still not too upset because we got three of the corn guys. Let's put them together like a little squadron right there. Dun, dun, dun. They're ready to take over. The corn people are attacking. Now, with that in mind, though, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear your opinions and your thoughts as to what was the absolute best figurine that we got here today. So, of course, you have to choose from the highwayman, the chef, or the pastry chef. Then we've got the troll warrior, the workout lady, the uh, elf queen, the circus strongman, Again, another one of the chefs or any one of the corn guys. It'd be funny if somebody was like, hey, yeah, I think the left corn guy was the best or the middle one or the right one. So <laughs> it's like, they're all the same. But nevertheless, thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button as I mentioned before. I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out. I'll see you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.